G'day, my name is Brian Hartigan. I'm the editor of Contact Magazine and website. 15 years ago, my wife Rosie and I took a huge gamble and sunk $90,000 of our own personal money to launch Contact Magazine. This has been our baby, our passion, ever since. In 2013, Contact suffered a massive downturn in magazine shop sales which actually started right after the Prime Minister declared that the war in Afghanistan was over. By December of that year, we had made the heart-wrenching decision that issue number 40 of Contact magazine would be the last one printed for sale in newsagents. That decision was as painful as it was absolutely necessary. We only had two choices back then, quit or go digital. Over the next five years, we built Contact's audience to be five times the size it used to be when we printed. Now we have more than 10,000 email subscribers and 50,000 unique visitors a month on our website. Most of our advertisers stuck with us through all this time. We even picked up some new long-term advertising supporters. But advertising alone is not enough to sustain Contact. And besides, I'm a far better magazine editor than I am an advertising salesman. You see, Contact does cover its own costs, but only just. It doesn't pay me a wage, it never has. And that's really not fair. For Contact's long-term survival, I think something has to change. I think Contact needs to get back to printing and selling paper magazines. Printing is the only thing that will secure Contact's long-term viability. Let me explain. Here's my plan. It's pretty simple, but I need you guys to come with me on this journey. You see, it costs roughly $16,000 to print and distribute 7,000 magazines, like we used to five years ago. But there's no way Rosie or I can afford to gamble that kind of money again. So what we need to do is sign up enough subscribers to cover the cost of printing and distribution. Using Patreon as our subscription platform, I calculate we need to recruit about 1,000 supporters, paying a minimum of $2 per month to become magazine subscribers. Setting up printing presses is very expensive. To print 1,000 magazines for our 1,000 subscribers, would cost around $10,000, so that doesn't work. But with the printing presses already set up, it only costs an extra two grand or so to run off another 6,000 magazines. So, with 7,000 magazines now printed, I can send 1,000 copies to our subscribers and the rest go out to news agents all around Australia. Based on our history, I estimate we average around 2,000 copies would sell in the shops at roughly $4 each back to us. That's around $8,000 profit per quarter, or $32,000 a year. And that's the basic wage that I need to reward me for the effort of producing contact. But if profits are higher, so much the better. I can then invest in more and better reporting. Even if profits don't live up to expectations, well, I'd still be no worse off than I am today. So that's the plan. My target is to print contact issue number 61 for the 1st of March next year, marking exactly five years since we quit printing. To me, that's an obvious and worthy milestone to aim for. But the decision deadline for that is 10 January giving me enough production time to meet print deadlines for the March magazine. And that, my friends, is the essence of it. 1,000 subscribers required. So there you have it, folks. We have a target of $4,000 a month on Patreon. We have a deadline of 10 January. And if we reach that target and reach that deadline, you could be holding contact 61 in your hot little hands on the 1st of March next year. And if we pull this off, we could be one of the first magazines to go from print to digital and back to print again. 
And wouldn't that be something special to be involved in? So please subscribe now via Patreon. It'll cost you less than $3 a month, which is actually less than this cup of coffee. And it's something that you guys have been asking me for for a long time. So now it's coming. Please support it and get in on something great. Cheers.